As regards the conversion, is it from uh, DC to AC, one, is there any uh, energy loss incrementally as you make that conversion? And two, are those batteries now so efficient that they store the energy efficiently so you don't have any further loss in the conversion? Well, the first question, the inverter, each inverter type or manufacturer has a an efficiency associated with it. In fact, what they tell you on the spec sheet is the peak efficiency. The peak efficiencies range from 92 to uh, 96 percent, depending on the manufacturer, which is pretty good. I mean, that's uh, so that's that's the efficiency from DC to AC through the inverter. Uh, the average efficiency, the efficiency is not always at its peak, so, you know, the average is probably in the low 90%, 91, 92, somewhere in there, for the inverter. Batteries are a whole other problem. Batteries, the charging and discharging of batteries is very inefficient. So, you know, you, you could lose, you could lose 25% of your energy in the charging and discharging of batteries. So that's, you know, one nice thing is about net metering and net metering is you can avoid the batteries altogether and, and get more kilowatt hours. Don't get batteries unless you have power outage all the time. Just, you know, just stick to the, the net metering. 